Hello everyone, this is CyberlinkFX. In this video, I will show you how to do a nice look at advanced muzzle flash on PowerDirector. So let's get started. First, open up PowerDirector, obviously. I am using PowerDirector 9.0. I'm pretty sure this will work with basically any version. I'm just using the most modern version. The Ultra 64 bit, too, it's really fast. I love it. Okay, so once that opens up, there's a couple things you're going to need. You can delete all those. So let's get started with these things you're gonna need. First, you're gonna need a picture of yourself shooting a gun. And here's mine, open that up. Next thing, you're gonna need a picture of a muzzle flash. You can get these all over the internet, all these places, you know, Google images, places like that. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go grab my muzzle flash. See, okay, that one looks good. Use this one. Nice muzzle flash. Now you're gonna need a sound of a gun shooting. You can get these all over the internet as well. Sound Bible is one of my personal favorites for getting this stuff. Let's go find one of those. Let's see, I like this one. Okay, that one sounds good take that one well, there's only one more thing I believe you're gonna need to go to this link and download my video you know what I just get it right here it's a video of a custom made video of a shell falling I am allowing you to download it so you don't have to worry about any copyright issues I'm right here saying go download it I made it myself so enjoy what it is is just this nice video of a shell falling I'm on a green screen let's just get started right here you're gonna well first of all you need let's see one two you're gonna need three video tracks maybe four three three video tracks so this already has two I'll add one more so there's three one for the muzzle flash one for the shell one for the video so now what you're gonna have to do is you're going to watch your video and find the exact spot where you pull the trigger oh see that Use this little frame button to find the exact spot. Okay, right there. Right there, you're going to split. Go two frames forward. Split again. Zoom up a little here. Then you're going to take this right here, and you are going to go to fix enhance. And you are going to go into lighting adjustment and add extreme backlight. What this will do is it'll make look make it look like the muzzle flash is lighting up the room when you pull the trigger. Okay, so now we're gonna add the flash. Take your picture, put it on the second video track. It will probably be way offline like this one is, so go into modify. And that'll open up the PIP designer you can go you can um if it's like this like it's supposed to be pointing that way you can go right here and go left to right and that'll make it point the right way now from here you can rotate it and resize it to fit your gun most muzzle flashes will have black around the edges it just happened that mine really doesn't have any but if yours has black around the edges just follow this step and this will help you out a lot so just go select your muzzle flash apply chroma key and just select all that black if yours has black around it you can turn up the intensity level and that'll solve your problem now go one frame forward just one frame split and delete all of this extra flash so your flash is only one frame long that'll make it really quick so it looks more realistic now we're gonna add the shell so take your shell put it on the final track and I'm pretty sure with this video, it starts out right away. So, just at the very beginning of this movie, go and modify. Apply chroma key. Take away all this green. And that'll just leave a shell. As you can see on this shell, there's a little green along the edges. You can go into intensity level. Just tweak that to take away all the green, but don't take away the shell. Okay, I like that. That's good. And then you're going to take this shell and you're gonna put it about right here where the shell would eject on a real gun you can make it smaller because you know the shells aren't that big okay that looks about good 
All right there, done. So you're almost done. Just one more simple thing left, and you will have a super awesome looking muzzle flash. So last step, you need the gunshot. Just put it on any of these extra audio tracks. I'm gonna put it on the one with the muzzle flash. Without a gunshot, it'll just look really lame. So make sure you put a gunshot in there, a sound. It'll it adds so much. So once you've done that. You have pretty much made your first muzzle flash. It looks really cool. And really, this is how it looks. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. For more about Power Director and all other all these other cool editing programs, just go to my channel, CyberlinkFX, and I hope to see you next time.